Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. And just make sure everything's okay there. You know, it's been really quiet out there. For all the energy coming from the sun, that series of CMEs, everything hitting us, we really didn't see much when it comes to major quake activity. Now, you know, we still have a lot of volcanic activity ongoing. But the major quake activity is actually quiet. It, it's really, really quiet considering everyone and their emotions were really rocked. A lot of people just had these major revelations or they had major upsets. Some people went through huge expansions, which is beautiful. I just thought we would see more on the earthquake front. Not that I want any catastrophes, but that's just kind of what usually happens. Well, Mother Earth is a living being, a literal living being, you know, and we're part of her. Maybe she is going through her ascension waves and making it to new stages. Yes, she very well could be, just Re like everybody else. Regardless of the effects of those that are controlling the human population. Mm -hmm, definitely. The biggest wave of migrants, and this is an interesting term, hybrid war. How thousands of illegals tried to take Belarus Poland border by storm. And Peter and Poland, if you were watching, um, the last time we talked a, a week or two ago, we were, you were talking about this, and he was bringing up exactly what we've talked about too with Belarus and Russia have had a, a lot of war games recently. And these migrants are funneling through Belarus over to Poland. History is going to look back, and I think there, you know, people will say, "How did people not see this coming? How did ninety-nine percent of the people out there not understand exactly what's going on?" You know, because when we look at it, you know, this channel. Well, they they say that we get maybe. 6,000 views, you know, 7,000 views a day. That's what they say. And we know you guys are awake. Right. But but when you get down to it, there's all different levels of wokeness, right? How did people not see what's coming and what's being done? Because it's pretty obvious, you know. And then some say, I saw one comment um, t today that said, well, people know they're just not doing anything about it. They're just not speaking up. They might understand, but again, you know, with the lack of a Second Amendment in the country, well, eh, maybe that's prophetic, lack of a First Amendment, you know, the right to speak freely, and you know, maybe that lack of a Second Amendment in the future, we know there's been attempts there. But you know what it looks like? in countries like Australia and New Zealand and and the like and, and others, you know, where there is no Second Amendment, there is no say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and we've seen exactly, um, you know, what that really looks like manifest in these times. So you have, reaching Europe, all these migrants from war-ravaged Middle East and when we look at it, it's been nonstop. You know, obviously, Afghanistan's had nonstop war for like 50 years. It's It's been horrible for the people living there. Look at Syria. Look at Iraq. And, you know, it, it's just created such a human horror story, you know. And you got to feel for these people. And you have to also feel for the ones who are going to be victim, and I do think it's a case where a lot of these migrants, they're coming in, and they're not really migrants, just mm -hmm. to put it that way. Mm -hmm. No, 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 they're coming in on a mission. So, you know, again, many people obviously are aware of what's going on, the infiltration, the hybrid warfare, hybrid warfare on so many levels. Um RT has lots of video and, and photos you could check out. So, you know, barbed wire in Lithuania on the border to prevent more uh, migrants coming over. 
it's just a crazy situation. And the estimates for the U.S. was over 400,000 might enter the U.S. illegally just in October, just last month. You know, I said to Cindy that reminded me of a Nostradamus quatrain. And um, he talks about men with long robes and, you know, all covered up so you can't tell what they look like coming and burning certain cities in France and, and also in Italy and throughout Europe, uh, coming in kind of hidden, shadowy, just like what we're seeing with these waves. Mm -hmm. And then they, they end up basically doing acts of terror, you know, acts, acts of mass destruction and chaos all throughout cities in Europe from the Nostradamus prophecies. And again, you know, we could talk about Nostradamus, the fact that, you know, he was in tight with the elites of the time, most definitely. He was very pro-church. And, you know, was he a plant? Did he really see things? And then we have all the alternative timeline possibilities as well. That was back in the 1500s. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking a long time ago. Way long time ago. But, you know, he continues to be popular and things that he says people are still hanging on. All those words. But I have to keep going back to where when you mentioned that he was in with the elites, you know, mm -hmm. so is this all just information pre-planted for this times now for us to manifest? Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. And, and when we get down to it and people will, people that are very, very um, Bible orientated and, and often you hear people say, well, I follow the King James Bible without knowing that, that he was head of all the Masonic churches in Scotland and in England. You know, talk about the insider's insider. Talk about the elite of the elite. Hello? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and then you can look into the whole Shakespeare thing, and we can get into Sir Francis Bacon and who really wrote what. And, of course, then we could go into the 1535 and basically adopting Jesus as the name of Yeshua. It, when you know that wasn't the original it, it goes on and on the infiltration is massive history is always being rewritten constantly and also things are being buried constantly and we see the border has reopened it fails to bring in throngs of visitors to the u.s on the first day but of course you have to have a, a certain you know yep. what you have to be a, acceptable yes acceptable by you know, you guys certain know. Certain standards have to be met. You yes. Know, certain things have to be met. Gosh, wasn't there... There wasn't there a sci-fi series back in the maybe 80s or 90s that was very much like They Live. It might have actually been out before the movie They Live. or maybe I think it might have been out before or around the time of the movie They Live where it was basically about the visitors coming and I think it might have been just basically that letter that starts the word visitors mm -hmm. and turns out they were reptilians that yeah they were coming for lunch right <laughs> exactly isn't that funny mm -hmm. all these movies and stuff in the past Hardy hard so you know when you think about it okay it reopens for the fully you know what yet yeah, you know, if you come across the border illegally, you might even win the jackpot money-wise and get some help. I get a lot of help, actually. Yeah, it, it's it's this it, is, it does doesn't make any sense in in any sort of logical way what we see going on in the greater scheme of things on in the world. Mm -hmm. It's it's just like you know, basically, as so many people have said, you know, before me saying it, but just it just was hitting me today. Again, how can people be even remotely asleep in these times, even with the heavy conditioning? And, you know, it's, it's going to take some heavy sedation to keep people asleep. It is, and that's going to keep going on and on because what's happening with the sun and its information it's giving people, people aren't going to have a choice but to start looking around because it's human evolution they're going to wake up, so they can only hold back Mother Nature for so long, you know? And, yeah, friends in um, Kansas and a few other spots today were making the comments about how heavy the sky was plastered with these funny-looking clouds. And, you know, I had 
seeing the sky and it looked clear and blue and beautiful. And then when I looked up after they had made those comments, it's funny, those clouds were only in front of the sun, only in front of the sun in that particular area. And I've noticed that many, many times. It tells you, again, if the sun is a relay, somebody wants the relay of light, gnosis, information stopped. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. Meanwhile, China is building missile targets shaped like U.S. aircraft carriers out in the remote desert and, mm. then, and then blowing them up. I wonder why would they do that? Yeah, I, I don't know. That's just totally baffles the mind. What could they possibly be doing that for? Just for fun, giggles, just it, to see if they can. I'm sure there's no other reason. Well, you know, they, they build these cities in the desert. Nobody's there. Right. Yeah, they just do weird stuff. That's all. They do. Maybe they're just bored. Sure, certainly. Of course. And China triggering growing fears for for the U.S. military and kind of everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's starting to get very, very noticed. I don't know if you guys follow MMA, but there was a match between uh, strawweight champ Rose Namajunas, who immigrated from Lithuania, um, and Zhang Weili. Yeah. That, that's her name, right? Mm -hmm. Um Weili is, her, I think Xiang Weili is her name, uh, from Beijing, China. And she had behind her the Chinese flag, the CCP flag. And boy, you want to talk about the booze that you heard in New York City. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it was not really for her, honestly. I think it was for that flag. Yeah, she, no, she, she is a very good person. You can tell her soul was a good person. It was for the, the colors that were being waved. But people are catching up to what's going on. And when you see General Mark Miley saying things like, we're witnessing one of the largest shifts in global geostrategic power the world has ever witnessed. That's a big statement. Mm -hmm. that, that's a big, big statement. But the shift is undeniable. You can see what's going on. But then again, when you're backed by the true power structure on the planet, you know, then it's, it's pretty easy to rise to power. Yes. And so Iran claims U.S. shocked by the IRGC's swift operation to rescue a tanker. And Washington's denying it ever happened. You know, there's photos and video. Um, but again, you know, people will believe what they want to believe either way. And so we heard about the Federal Court of Appeals saying, uh, hold on, stop regarding, you know, that for men type of thing going on. Mm -hmm. Here we see the White House tells businesses to just proceed anyway, despite the court-ordered pause. And, boy, it was hitting me. Well, anyway, you look at it, you know, everything is all about getting more and more divided. Always about the division. But, boy, can you imagine if, you know, the number 46 regime did uh, completely ignore it. That would be curious. And then there's talk of number 45 coming out in the open, maybe not too long, you know, maybe next year when we're in the next cycle in November, you know, that cycle where people actually, some go, some just mail in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, that's a whole issue too. <laughs> that's another right? issue. Yes, um, it is. Can you imagine? I can't. I, I, can you imagine what it's going to look like in 2022, and then in the cycle, the big cycle of 2024? It's going to be a mess. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, approval rating that they're saying dropped to 38 percent. I don't know. Maybe that three is not really in front of that eight. You know, you got to wonder because everything is. We we have to question everything. But yeah, it's. Pretty gloomy um, as far as, you know, feeling that people are behind you, I would guess. Definitely. Massive crowds gathering in L.A. to protest. You know what? Those dates for men. Massive crowds. And, you know, there's massive crowds. There was other uh, videos of this on, on Twitter, and it's interesting because I was looking from different points of view because, you know, there's always the effort to make things seem less than or effort to make things seem greater than 
it does feel like things are gaining steam mm -hmm. as far as uh, Viva La Resistance, mm -hmm. per se. And when you look at the stats and the numbers, uh, they say, you know, globally, I saw that it was like a little bit over 40% are completely up to spec at the moment of the entire people on the globe. 51% has, has received at least one go of it. That's a lot of people. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And, you know, if you look down here, you see the UK and the US sandwiched between them is Germany. And they're at 66.52 fully. And so we have this. Yeah, and this is a curious uh, numerical statistic, is mm -hmm. it not? Why does this keep happening? You know, this is like so fast backwards from what's supposed to be happening. Highest ever. Mm -hmm. And now the bird flu thing. We had talked about that a few days ago. Now bird flu spreads to Poland, where, where the migrants are coming in. The EU's largest poultry producer, 650,000 birds alleged, alleged, alleged yep. to have been contaminated. But you know what? They're going to be destroyed. You know that's what they're going to do. That's that's a, another major blow to the food chain. Again, this incredibly this beautiful time yes the the orchestra the symphony it's, of destruction is, is playing loud and clear it is and it just keeps going on and you know how the the violins they go a little bit faster or you know the the jazz music gets a little more intense you know we're kind of starting to get into that intense part of the music dum, where dum, 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 yes dum, dum, where dum, you start dum, like dum, ripping dum, you start dum, white knuckle and stuff you know you're like what's gonna happen we're kind of there well, what's going to happen is, well, probably number 46 is going to break gas again in front of the <laughs> royal family. That's a white knuckle thing for sure. <laughs> it is. U.S. charges two men over July 4th ransomware attacks. They seize six million in payments. Wow, six million. But when you see the numbers of how much they uh, potentially made in all this, as you see the photo of one of them, birthplace Russia, um, yeah, I mean, big, big, big time money. We're talking hundreds of millions. Interesting, too. You know, who were they really working for? You know, they named it R.E. Vile. Like, evil. That's like so 1980s. It's so cheesy. Dr. Evil. <laughs> we're talking about that, that cheesy music. Yes. Dum, dum, dum. Right? <laughs> yep, it is. It's Dr. Evil. <laughs> you do that good. <laughs> pra you, you he practices. He practices at night. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. So Google, in case you you know don't know, parent company is Alphabet. They also own YT, right? Two trillion dollars in market value. When we're talking about companies that are going to be. Well, you know, they're it. I mean, they're it. You know, when we talk like this, Amazon, Walmart, how much of a step would it be to just kind of like, there is nothing else, you know? And we were talking about this with um, somebody else, another person today, or was it yet yesterday, about how they're starting to get in their YouTube feed recommendations don't seem right and accurate because you know they might be looking at you know music videos and then they're taken over to mainstream you know cnn msnbc uh they're taken over to very very mainstream things instead of something that like you know let's say god forbid you're watching something from you know adapt 2030 and then maybe you wanted to jump over and we haven't seen, yeah. You know, we haven't really paid attention to everybody else's channels, but like say Rex or right. go over to, um, oh gosh, you know some of the other guys that that are talking about these type of things, 
and you're not getting that in your feed. That's what should be in your feed. Instead, you're 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 kind of getting the official mainstream Got popping it. up yes. more and more and more. Um, you know, again, it gets me on that Rammstein. We're all living in America. Yeah. Well, you know, now it's more like we're all living in the fine dining where country. We are. You know? It it really is, and and it's just you know, take your daily programming dose. Just simply, you know. Take your downloads. Don't worry. You're going to have a plug in probably maybe on your left arm, maybe on your right arm, maybe in your forehead. Well, you know, there's ways. I mean, we have to consciously, consciously step back from that. I think I said that word wrong. Sorry, guys. Conscience. Con- I can't. Speak. Consciously step Thank back. Thank you. Thank you. Step back from our devices and not allow them to make decisions for us like they do. So when you're texting somebody, you'll see at the bottom of your phone, it says, do you want to say yes I am or no or something and you just simply click on that little few words and their AI has made your decision for you and this says a lot Ted Cruz wants Texas to secede if things become hopeless in the US and you know again what if those orders of staying the dates for men what if they get ignored or or what if you know it's we're so close to everything, all the semblance of doing things from a constitutional point of view, I mean, you know, being just obviously gone. I mean, it is gone. We, we know, you know, I know, I mean, it's gone. It's mm-hmm. obvious it's gone. And we could go, you know, we can definitely go back to um, the Patriot Act for, you know, starting that whole ball really rolling much faster than it was, but it even goes back farther than that. You know, what's hopeless look like? What's hopeless look like? That's the question, you know, but I think it's, I'm absolutely certain that we'll see Texas secede and others too at some point in time, you know, uh, unless there's like another curveball thrown to us somehow. And, uh, you know, if the power structure were to change over to, swing over to that right side again, then you'd be looking at the, the left ones to secede. But, you know, um, one of our family members said that, y- you know, it had to play out that number six, 46 would become number 46, right? And not keep number 45 there because you had to swing the pendulum all the way the opposite way. And it's so true. And, and we've said that before, you know, you know, look at Bush, then Obama, look after Obama, you know, look at what, what happened next. You, I mean, you go, whoa, over mm-hmm. the other side now, whoa, over to this side. You know, if this was basically a swing, the person would be on the ground by now because it's swung so far in each direction. It does, and it, it's that totalitarian tiptoe thing that they do is they make something so outlandish, so outrageous, and then they kind of reel back the the laws and stuff so it doesn't seem so bad anymore. It's a tiptoe thing. So, yeah, they're, they're trying to knock, knock the entire country off the swings. Mm-hmm. So so we could go ahead and ask our good old Uncle G for help. Yeah, yeah. Then it's, now it's not so bad, see? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) La Palma, by the way, lots of talk about it, uprising, uplifting, um, you know, to a a tremendous level. Most definitely, as we said, we've we've gotten from the guides, most definitely this is an artificially flavored event. Absolutely not showing any sign of slowing down. And the main cone collapses again releasing high quantity of lava and ash, extremely bad air quality, and uh, had a 4.9 on Sunday. You know, when's this going to end? Well, who knows? And what's it going to look like? Only time will tell. I bet you that even the people at the control dials don't really know what they're going to end up, you know, creating. All they have is like some, some probably written ancient history books for the last time they did this. Yes. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Powerful storm produces anomalous high tides in Georgia, South Carolina, 10.45 feet in Savannah, 8.51 feet in Charleston. There's video there, too, of the flooding. <clears throat> you know, Charleston, Savannah, two of my favorite places. Uh, I've lived around those areas. 
absolutely love the areas. Um, beautiful areas. Definitely, you know, can be flooded out. And, you know, when we see the hurricanes that stall and just move one mile per hour, you know, it really wasn't that bad a hurricane season. So we could say that, you know, in a looking at something in a positive light, right? Yay, it yes. Was, it wasn't that bad of a hurricane season. That's it's weird. not totally not totally over yet. Mm. Um, but basically, you know, besides uh, coastal storms, you can't get these king tides too. Um, I returned to Charleston, like, it's probably about three years ago. And that was the last time I was back there. And I was talking to one of the locals and they, they had said that they noticed that the king tides were far worse than what they had had in previous years going back decades. So preliminary reports of peak high tide ranks as the fourth highest tide and the highest non-tropical tide on record at Fort Pulaski, just below the record flooding set by Matthew and Irma and Hurricane 9 all the way back in 1947. Ooh, that's big and massive. And by the way, there was three asteroids that gave us a close call to date, and we're still here. Yay! We've made it! Yay! Yep. We did it again! We, I don't mean to brag or anything, but this has got to be the millionth time I'm still here today when the world's going to end. Yeah, yes. <laughs> we, we made it. So three that great. came within a lunar distance. Yes. And, um, you know, there's been a lot, undeniably. There's been a lot. But we are so excited because yeah. we're still here, guys. Hooray! But four, less than a lunar distance in 24 hours. Definitely a lot of activity up there. But, you know, maybe not everything they're saying is an asteroid is an asteroid. Right. Just putting that out there. Mm -hmm. And this is curious, right? What's behind the strange drop in American body temperature over the past 200 years? Are we all just turning into reptilians? Yeah, we're just going back to lizard land. Yeah? It's all right. good. Have you noticed your neighbor stick its tongue out and snag a fly? That's or just Well, wrong. that's actually a frog. That would be amphibian <laughs> land. Yes, it would. It would. What do lizards eat? They, they eat flies too, right? Well, th yeah, some do, most definitely. Yeah. You know, or they eat those little crunchy mealy worms. Oh, they're yeah, they're kind they of like small like little insects. crunchy spaghettis, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's true. But, it's true. And they are cold. I don't know. I, I think it, it's just natural human evolution for something or another. You know, the information is surprisingly um, black, but I've always had my temperatures always been low. So I've been kind of an odd duck in that area. Mm, yeah. Quack, quack. Very much so. Well, the, you know, that 98.6 that everybody has brought up hearing, that was actually established two centuries ago in France. But it's not accurate now it's it's not accurate and you know a, a survey done found temperatures among men born at the turn of this century were 0.59 degrees celsius cooler than those of men born about 200 years ago women on the other hand about 0.32 degrees celsius declined since the 1890s so some researchers say maybe it has something to do with inflammation due to disease but, you know, the life expectancy know. had rose. Now it's on the decline, though. Mm -hmm. It sure is, yeah. Something that we need to pay attention to. Now, I did have talked to people lately who are having, like, bleeding problems who are having a hard time coagulating. So that's kind of curious. That seems to be a slow oncome of something, too. You know, and it seems like those people are people that have not had a certain thing done. You yep. know, they're not fully up to par, so mm -hmm. to speak. And they're very sensitive. Yeah, very sensitive, empathetic people. Yeah. Um, let me just throw it out there. You know, for all the ladies out there that are still going through that monthly pain in the butt change. Yeah. Have you noticed changes? Have you noticed changes recently? Yes. Because we're hearing from a lot of people that there's there's changes going well, on. Well, yeah, there's like really bad hormonal changes. It seems like, and where your moon time is like twice a month, and you know, you're maybe you're having extra hair fall or maybe just things are not quite okay when it comes to the realm of hormones with a lot of women right now. It's really strange. I mean, not just a little out of whack. I mean, a way out of whack. 
So yeah. Yeah, we've we've heard people having a having that monthly thing every two weeks. Yeah, every two weeks. Or 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 lasting twelve days. Mm -hmm. You know, it it's kind of kind of weird and kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, just interesting to, to share your experiences if you feel inclined to, um, because it does feel like there's something much bigger under underway here. Yeah, when we got sperm counts down 60% since the 1950s, fertility rates way, way down. And then three years of life expectancy reversal in the U.S. Last, last year was like 14 months. That's yeah. huge reversal. Mm -hmm. And definitely something with hormones. <laughs> uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's just, again, and seeing so many of our young kids all of a sudden having issues with the heart, it doesn't... Uh, doesn't add up. No, none of this adds up in a you know natural sort of way. Mm -hmm. But we do want to thank everybody for your support uh, over at Ko-Fi, Patreon as well. We truly could not uh, do it without your support yes. at these places. And we definitely want to say thank you to Half Hazardous. Super cool. I've been looking forward to saying that name all day. Yes, that's our newest Patreon. And do go check out Medicinal Foods. There's the coupon code EA, which will save you 5%. But And that link is on every video. But also just go to check out some of their articles, you know, because you might find some info here that you might find interesting. You know, there's headings of clean and detox, consciousness, alternative medicine, you know, some hot topics that, uh, you know, many people are, whoop, can't go too far down there. You might want to go look at that, though. Um, talking about talking about big topics, right. you know, about alternative ways of looking at things and doing things. So, you know, go do check them out as well. As always, guys, stay prepared. Much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.